All right, we're here in the finals, and uh, we definitely like to draw first. You, yeah, we got a Molus. You really can't keep one landers in this format, even on the draw, especially considering what our curve is. Uh, let's tell you a little bit about our opponent. He is playing green, blue, and we think it's red, right? Mm -hmm. Green, blue, red. He's got some good stuff against us. He's got that uh, hunting Drake, the one that puts a red or green creature on top of its owner's library. It's a five mana two two. That would blow us out pretty good. Um, what else did this guy have? He has the. He has uh, a Cavu. He's got the, yeah, the coastal he's, Drake. He's got a coastal Drake, which is pretty good against us. We have, you know, at least a few. We have like four Cavu creatures. He had jungle barrier too. No, was that not this? Guy? I can't remember. I don't. This might that might not there's have been so this guy. There's so many colors. There's yeah, so there's so many, many colors. colors. We just watched a little bit of this guy's last game. All right, so we got them all. Ooh. All right. Well, we gotta go to five. Okay. I mean, we'll keep this. This actually does things. Not the uh, start I like, but... It does exactly one thing. <laughs> it does one thing. <laughs> now it does two things. <laughs> Woo! At least we got a good spread of land, though. Yeah. Coastal Drake was his third turn play, so let's see if he can get that again. That was a good draw. Does that something was a really good draw for us, especially because it's one mana cheaper now, no matter what form it takes. That's true. No chain three play. That's uh, such good news for us. With that Thornscape familiar getting in there, devastating. Ten turn clock, baby. Uh, all right. Penumbra Cavu next turn. Look at us doing things. See what his four drop is. Alright, it is oh, the jungle barrier, barrier. man. Alright. Panoma Cavaru looking a little bit less impressive, but. As is Thornscape. <laughs> Sulam. So, that one is super unimpressive. It's alright. No. Still, six mana 4 4 trample is yeah. going to be Won't still be playable. getting through a jungle barrier, though. True. You can't cast that yet. I still can't do Panoma Cavaru? No. Oh, yeah, I forget. Our only hope is that he casts two blue permanents right well, now. Well, if he's going to do Hunter Drake, I guess I'd at least like to see it now and just get it out of the way. You savage gorilla. So savage. That's right. That's this guy. Okay, well, Pen Penumbra Cavu is a good like answer to that, actually. Oh, yeah. I assume he's probably just going to kill the familiar to draw. He's have Would be my guess. There it is. We've got some good outs around this jungle bear, but this card's actually really good. Draws you a card too. Yeah. I feel like it shouldn't I have. I feel like it shouldn't have had two power. He's taking out the Kavu, and then he's probably going to repulse it or something. Oh, okay. So he's not like losing any cards, but he's just wasting a lot of time. Yeah, this was the repulse guy for sure. Oh, well, getting rid of the he just at he that just time probably wanted good enough anyway. He probably just wanted to draw, you know. Uh, all right, I guess we play it. Bounce familiar, play it mm -hmm. again. Don't really have much else going on. I guess we could get to the point where playing chaos actually works in our favor. For once, that would be impressive. Just need to land, what, two more fatties and then we'll be at that point? Yeah. We've already got, what, eight on the board? So yeah, 16 if we had two more guys out. Uh-oh, he's playing something massive. Something or not, not massive? Something semi-massive. Yep. Shifting how he's he paying for it. White wasn't necessary. Wow, that card's good. Yeah, he's probably setting himself up for that. What was the white spell you mentioned that destroys all lands? You choose yeah, each global one. ruin. He might have that. That would be bad news. Yeah. I mean, he's setting up domains. Yeah, so I think he's probably got it. That's probably what he's going to follow it up with. That would make sense. That's too much. Or a Gladenar. Well, thankfully that does yeah. actually nothing. You can keep that order up and you'll be real happy about it, I think. 
Let's see if we can get that howler out. Alright. Sounds good to me. Nice little blocker for the Gladenar. And possible more cards in our hand. Do we even have any cobblers left? I guess we have the horns. Slimy. Uh, no. Oh. So sad. I guess we wouldn't have been able to play him anyway. No value. But 4-5. Four, 4-5 five. Four, five for 6. Alright. I guess the plan is we get to the point where Chaos kills him, huh? He does have Repulse, though, too, so that's a pretty all-in idea. That's a flyer. A white creature. Destroy that creature. Talk about an awkward format, huh? Uh, another big dude. Pretty straightforward. Getting 18 power on the board is the plan. Too bad green is super common. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Alright. 3, 6, 8, 12, 16. So if we do Thornscape Familiar, we literally do have lethal. He's got to have an answer to our guys. But we'll see. We'll see if we can be so lucky. We've got to attack with the Slayer, right? Oh, wow. He's holding back. Hmm. Interesting. He must expect me to get in the trample pretty soon here. Alright, setting ourselves up for a next turn, 18 damage. That seems pretty far-fetched that we would win, but I think the nice thing is... We also have Derigaz Charm. We're also outnumbering him creature-wise. So, I, th so I feel like we're going to get enough damage yeah. in where he's still going to be hurting. Was this Spite Malice guy, though? Why? What does that do? He can counter the Chaos if he has Spite in his hand. Well... I think we're just going to have to go for it. Yeah, just do it. Especially now that we have that, this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One mana for that. That's so crazy. And even if he counters it, we attack with everything because we have the command. I mean, taking out this jungle barrier would be super beneficial for us. Yeah. Or taking out his 4-4, four, four, whatever. Probably the barrier. Barrier is the biggest. Wow. Wow. We did it! Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> these games, this. these have been like the most exciting draft games I've had in a long time. Wow. Death Bomb. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah, because so, he's got, we didn't see, he doesn't have any black. Alright, do we want both though? That's another question. And what do you want to take out for Death Bomb? Like, do we want to drop one of our guys that's going to require us to bounce? Because yeah, we're probably going to have, because we're going to have less guys to bounce. I you would know? take out maybe the fleet foot panther because i think we have to like exchange like one of the two white or black you know what i mean like, yeah okay we need i'd to rather the count of white we're higher in red so it's probably wiser to take out the the white um do we want to drop a cheetah then for a well i don't want to do any more creatures like okay because we we're at 14 else, right? it should be like either the command or the cloak in my opinion if we're going to do it the other death bomb Trade a tr Alright, well then let's take out the trick for another removal. And this way we... Yeah, but this isn't even that good against Jungle Barrier, unfortunately, because we still have to lose something. Um, Acolyte's not good against him. Unicorn's not good. I, there's diversionary tactics. I mean, we could bring that in. That would shut down his... I mean, we Blocker, were at a, yeah, we had a ton we of... We were at a stalemate the whole time there. Maybe, maybe we do a Tactics instead of one of our Death Bombs, so we do one Death Bomb, one Tactic. Okay, I could get behind that. But then we need to take out a Planes and put another Swamp in, too. Take out a Planes? Well, we need to take something out for an additional Swamp, right? Or not? I don't know. We've got the Slimy Cow... Uh... Because this is going to be played... This is probably played pretty late anyway, right? I mean, you have to have a creature to sack. You want a super relevant target to use it on. This is going to be like a... Yeah, and it win, be win like game, a sort of. Too. Yeah, this is like... Penumbra Kavu. Do we like this more than Tactic? I feel like because we're so low on creatures, we're not going to be able to play this multiple times. So I guess one is going to be better. Should we just try this card out? It's okay. I mean, we were at a stalemate... It, we're getting down to time, so we either have to decide on that one or stick with 
Command or Fleetwood Panther. Alright, alright. I guess I'm on board with trying out Tactic. Our opponent is wisely playing second. Um, I mean, it's worked for us before? Or do you want them all? I mean, it's it's we have, we're, we have it's four fine. we have three of our four colors again. Let's just keep it. This is a slow format. You get you get at least a few grace turns to get your color, you know. Yeah. And in this case, our our most uh, you know, Rel uh, what's the word? I don't know. Most in their color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most relevant color. Whoa, that was weird. A little bit of lag. Woo! I guess we'll get a chance to try it out if we get a forest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, but the good whatever. news is if we play a th Thornscape next turn and then we play another one on the turn after, the tactics only cost one mana. Insane. Isn't it two mana? Oh, yeah, two mana. Dang. Which would still fit with our curve. Oh, my God. Wish we had a green source. Yeah. You know, that fourth turn diversionary tactic's not quite looking as impressive <laughs> with no board presence. Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty good. Don't want him ramping. Green source. Yeah. Yay. All right. Can we do Thornscape next turn? If we get a forest, can we do it Thornscape and Frenzy Tilling? Um, yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah. But otherwise, I'm definitely slam dunking a frenzy tilling. What do we take out? Let's think of that now. Red source, because he still has access to the green and the blue off that. Yeah, I think red's probably. But actually, he doesn't really use red. No, you're right. It's, it's just blue. for his domain. I would say you take out the blue source because, well, he's probably know. playing jungle barrier here or something. So take out blue. Did he have double blue? Did we see any double color at all that you remember? I don't think so either. Maybe green. It seems like green's probably pretty huge with him. He had hero. I mean, at this point, we're it, just the fact that we're getting rid of a mana from him is yeah. Be actually, huge. you're right. He did play like almost exclusively green creatures against us last turn. All right. Last game. Yeah. All right. Now let's frenzy till in that forest, and then if we have some way to deal with this guy, he might be in a world of world of pain. Bring in a world of pain. And then we, you know, top deck the dragon again. That'd be sick. Alright, what is this 4-drop? He's scaring me here. Alright, our opponent uh, lost connection, came back, played a Volcano Imp, which is really not that bad at all. Alright, well, we're going to take out that forest with the Frenzy Tilling. That is the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd almost like offer the trade, too. I would, too. I don't see why not. We've got another one in our hand, and... I probably should have done the Frenzy Tilling pre... Actually, it might have changed his blocking decision. Yeah. So, this is going to be good. He's got to be prepared for guys might, too, so... Um, Scared him into free damage? Alright. So, play this. Play this. Take that out. Leave up the red-black land. Because it's cool. And get out our another forest, probably. Save this. It's our most popular color, right? Yeah, I would say definitely a forest here, since we have swamp already. Alright. Um, I guess that's everything. Next turn, we do get familiar plus a two mana cheetah. Right? Or is it. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. Could still do familiar, familiar diversionary tactics. <laughs> it's true. Which isn't that bad. Too bad our biggest threat is on the bottom of our library. Right? Or is no, that no, that was, was the other game. game. Oh yeah. my god, you're right. So at any point, dragging off the top. Especially now that he has the temporal spring out of the way, that's a lot better. Alright, play. And I'd rather get the cheat out, wouldn't you? Are we getting in there with either of them? Otherwise, it's familiar. I mean, he yeah, I he guess. stops the I guess damage right, with yeah. the pilgrim, so the horn cheat is no good until we tap. Them. And tactic will let us. Okay. Yeah. So 
So do we tap the Volcano Imp and let him attack with the Pilgrim and the... Yeah, because then we can swing back. And we're not going to block him anyway. Great. That guy's good. Alright. Um, let's just tap this guy. Hopefully we draw like a query and dry it off the top or something. He's keeping his pilgrim up too, which is good. I'll take that. Okay. So land and uh Kavu for blocking. Well, that's not that great of a blocker against him though, is it? No. But the more creatures that we have out, the more we can like block, so or I mean tap things down. Then we play Cheetah almost. I probably would have played Cheetah before we bounced. You know? Yeah, you're right. I forgot how much green man I had. That's alright. Mm, I should use the forge there, but it doesn't matter. Alright. So now the plan is tap stone Cavu. And then we allow him to beat him with an imp. Yeah, that's actually fine. Right? Mm -hmm. I think. I think that's the best we got. And it will allow us to crack back with our horned cavu, but how much can you protect right now? Just two. two. Yeah. So it's still it's not enough. But he very well has uh, you know, he's got five mana and he's fixed for everything. Fixed for days. How about a little rack evolver off the top too, huh? A little finisher. That'd be awesome. Any any dragon six drop. Yeah, would be great, dragon actually. rack evolver. Um, unfortunately, even like Sulam Jin, I I yeah. gladly take as a four man, uh, six mana four four trample. Five. It's pretty good. good. Pretty good. We'll be getting a lot of use out of our diversionary tactics. I agree. Ooh. Well, we can play both. both. Yeah. All right. So what's the plan now? We tap Stone Cavu plus some Blazing Golem. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Which creature do we leave up? The Cavu, Cavu or the, yeah, sure. the big, the big Cavu yeah. or the little brother? I guess you could leave up either one. They're both pretty. He's got more cards yeah, than us, though. Oh yeah, didn't we mold a five this yeah, game? Yeah, we did. Hunting Drake in our future. Wow, mulling in this format is way tough. Oh wow! All right, well we're gonna use tactics in response. Tap that. And tap that one. Slowly but surely, now this guy protects for three as well, so we can't even get in with our penumbra cavu, unfortunately. Kind of in a tough spot here actually. We need Ugh. we need a uh Derogaz, the igniter. That stinks. I think we just attack with everything now, actually. I mean, why? Just because it'll put him in. I don't know. Because he gets back at us for eleven. Right. I guess we ooh, we can't only cast it. Oh, he got rid of our. Black How did we only have one black source? I can't believe I didn't even realize that. We searched up for a forest when we had the chance to search. Wow, that was really dumb of us. No, it wasn't because we needed the double forest. We wouldn't have been able to cast like two things a turn without it. Well, in retrospect, it's dumb. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. I would much rather play a enormous game-winning dragon right now. Yeah, but we had the... Alright, well, we've we got, we got some potential ways to get it, like drawing a swamp, or drawing that primal growth, or... We drawing even primal growth. Yeah, because we, we even have the number of cavu for it. It's which is less than two.
Um, we have the other thing that... Swing with your elf. What are you waiting for? You must be really in need of that mana. Wow, he hit that place for at the perfect time. Yeah. It was the turn before we played our oh, wow. Gnomish Dragon. And he's going to draw four. four cards. Wow. All right, this game is going to get away from us real fast. Unless away. we get that, that this stair guy's online. All right, well, that's pretty good. Uh, I would put it on Penumbra Kavu and swing in. Could also do it on Horn Cheetah, gain double the yeah, life. Yeah, actually do that. We gain a bunch, right? Yeah. And... You only have to assign, like, enough to kill one of his creatures. So, like, even though he can prevent four to a creature, you only have to assign one to it. Oh, he's got the trample. You're right. That's pretty cool. So we'll only be gaining... Well, we'll, we'll be gaining six and dealing three each time, so... Otherwise, yeah, we couldn't kill it anyway, could we? No. All right. Yep, that's fine. It even knew it even knew what we wanted to do. <laughs> All right. I like that. Yeah, that definitely puts us in a different position. Yeah, it does. That's a must answer now because I don't think he's going to be able to outrace that. Wow. Well, he's certainly seeing enough of his deck yeah. to find an answer. He is down a temporal spring and a plague spore, though, so if he's got some more removals, and he's got a great deck. He is in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, he's slam dunking something here. Gain three life. On black. Wow, this guy had some bomb oh, removal. Man. Real bomb removal. That one is perfect. Yeah, but when you see a million cards, you have to assume that he's going to find an answer somewhere. Yeah, that was pretty devastating. Did he? Oh, he did both kickers, too. Yeah. Yeah. As the extra little slap in the face. All right, I think we tap down... Uh, no. This guy. Yeah, and... I don't know. I guess I wouldn't block yet. He can't even pump it defensively. He can't oh, he's got the that. damage. But we could swing back next turn and have him not be able to prevent damage. I don't know if that matters. Let's just do it. We're in a bad spot, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, you look at it, we're in a kind of lousy spot. Yeah. Till we get that black source, we're in a dangerous position here. Black source, baby. Where is it at? That's not a black source. I almost. Kind of want to hold on to it. Is there any like single discard in this format or not? No, it's all double discard. All right. Well, then we're screwed anyway, and I'm gonna play it. All right. Well, he's going to be rapidly beating us down here. I'd say we did remarkably well, considering yeah. we mulled a five. And our opener was like four lands and a landscape. <laughs> I mean, our only shot at this point is playing this dare, guys. And you said, th I'm pretty sure you're right, that this is the guy that's got the... Uh, I will take this one. This if is the guy that's got the... Uh, uh, spite Malice? Yeah, yeah. So he if can, he like... If that, it won't stop dare, guys, though. That's the thing. Um, what about the... Oh, because it's black, too. Yeah. yeah, you're right. So we just really, really need a black source. How many top decks do we have, potentially? We've got one Swamp. We've got that Primal Growth or we whatever. Can do Pulse. No, nope, that will put us one less than what we need. For All right. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to start chump blocking here. We just, yeah, that's too bad. All right. Wow. Do we even have a, like that a way to for come us. out of this though? That I, I have no idea. I don't think so. Let's just make him attack though. I think there's no possible way that we can win this. So, uh, unfortunately. The Mold of Five was pretty devastating, as Mold of Fives typically are. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. I 
Guess we bought Stone Cavu and take a bunch. Yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure we're dead. I just I'll play it out anyway, I guess. That's too bad. Can't believe how close we came. Maybe he'll play more spells, who knows? Mm. Right, no, he knew. He's like, no, I've got everything in the entire world on board. Perfect S timing. Slap <laughs> in the face! <laughs> Alright. Game three. Is anything looking better now? Bloodfire and After, Fusion? Yeah, he, he had a lot of X2s, or did he? No, he didn't really, did he? He had one toughness, guys, and that Samite Pilgrim plus his, like... He had a lot of guys that were obnoxious. That if we had put that on the Kavu early enough and just sacked it. Well, I guess not on the Kavu because, you know, it just kills the token then. But on something else. We didn't see a single death bomb. What would we take out? Well, we only put in one death bomb. Right, we didn't see a single. <laughs> we didn't see is death bomb is, is death bomb. bomb maybe death bomb's not even as good as blood fire infusion the things he's killing us with like already get value when they come in you know mm, that's kind of really. what was uh he didn't kill us with hunting cavu or hunting drake he killed us with stone cavu and volcanic imp and he I mean, didn't have any auras or artifacts that we saw no i don't even feel like we've seen an artifact yet I don't either. No cameos or anything. Um, I don't know. Lights, no good. What's Coalition Honor Guard read? Is it spell or ability, or what? Yeah. We could put that in to stop his Samite. Yeah, and it's a 2-4. Yeah, I actually like that. Alright, so what should we take out for this card? We should have actually considered this for the main deck, I think. This is a good card. Yeah. Uh, How'd you feel about Tactics? It did some things. I think it's it's. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be best for us though. He's better in the long term because he's yeah. got the healers. So this is something more long term. Let's just do the honor guard instead. You cool with this? Yeah. All right. No. I like play second actually. I'll Good. Keep, I'll keep this. Perfect hand. Not uh, not the best. But we have 18 lands, so this is You don't is a like opening hand of every Kavu in our deck, plus <laughs> Kavu Holler? <laughs> That's stupid. And we are, I guess, a little bit tight on time, so... Gonna have to do some quick decisions here. Erdborg Volcano. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. God, could you ask for a better draw? I don't think you could. <laughs> Suddenly went from two to four colors. Sweet. It just keeps getting better and better. Unnecessary, but we'll take it. No, now his plague spores don't matter. I guess that's true. Now we get to swing for two and play a horned cavu. Kind of like that. So good. Uh. And if he's got the removal, at worst, just have to bounce our horn cavu, so it's not all that bad. Horn cavu is so good. Two mana, three, four. I like it. Boo. Ooh. Best answer for it ever. Maybe we draw a mountain and Let's get that slap it in the yeah. face with a charm. Which isn't even, like, really that great, because he's still got to draw a card out of it. Uh, I guess we do the familiar. That's probably a little more relevant right now. Mm -hmm. We could have also done Slimy Cavu, so we could do Daragaz's Charm next turn. Oh, you're right. All right. At least it's cheaper now? Yeah. Good, good call. Is that a good excuse? Yeah. And if we land a land, we can do Slimy Cavu. Both plus Legionnaire. Legionnaire yeah. yeah. Has to be a red source, though. Whatever. Oh. Well... That's uh, pretty nasty against us. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think we just play Slimy Cavu. 
same plan as before. I don't really want to sack this since we're totally missing our land drops, you know? Yeah. You All could, right. I guess, sack the Cavu. Since until that Coastal Drake is gone, it's useless. Yeah. Alright. We do need lands. Get a red source. Right? Or a, or it could be our black source too, actually. Black source is more rare. I don't know? do just red and green. You've got Pulse of Lana War in hand. Oh yeah. Just okay. do red and green. And then cast the slimy cavu. And if he wants to bounce that, whatever. Um red and black? No, green. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess that was pretty good. And then he has to decide if he wants to bounce it. Alright. Yeah, yeah, that worked out alright. this right. way, he's not bouncing something that's going to debilitate us. And we're, like, super close to having all of our threats online at this point. This guy's got an amazing deck, though. His does, uh, yeah. His value removal is, like, just sickly good. So, maybe Plague Spores here and we'll still be able to do our Pulse. He's all in on flyers now, I guess. Alright, what's the best we've got? We can do Penumbra Cavu, now we can do Cavu Howler. I guess we do the Howler, right? I mean, at least then he'll be bouncing that. We can potentially. Otherwise, I'm doing Legionnaire plus Pulse. Is that any good? I would say that. We're running low on time, which better? Legionnaire, Legionnaire plus Pulse? pulse Alright, fine. Let's do it. Quick decisions here. Quick. And I just at start turning his forest into a swamp at the beginning of his turn. Good call. Because I forgot about that. Devouring Strausses with the third black he finally got. <laughs> he had a real hard time finding that <laughs> green source. But he had to play it. He yeah, it's one. pretty good. I think we're going to have to use uh, Derogat's Charm here on some Coastal Drake action. Yeah. I'd probably actually... Actually, I could just Legionnaire, Legionnaire it, yeah. Alright. You can holler or whatever. Maybe Howler. Yeah, Howler. What? Red. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. God, that sucks. And we're short on time, too, so it's even worse. <laughs> you have to choose the uh, color. God, this is so stupid. <laughs> Luckily, on, on non basics, you don't have to choose. Oh, just get rid of two amazing oh, cards. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, both of those would have been amazing. <laughs> both of those would have been so good. Well, at least we didn't get rid of a dragon, I guess. I love how this card's like hurt us both times we played it. <laughs> we couldn't have expected anything, though. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I. we have to attack with uh, the Howler and hope that he blocks the jungle barrier. I don't really... Because now that he's got that thing online, you know. Ooh. Aww. Well, now we just death bomb. Well, let's attack. Short on time, so just attack now. Yeah, attack. Not short enough, apparently. Yeah, apparently <laughs> not. I just don't want her interrupting again. Here we go. Oh, that's good. So now we charm it. And then we still have our death bomb, right? If he double blocks, oh, he chooses not to double block. Alright, let's deal the damage. To make sure that it's getting in. Okay. I mean, maybe it would have been better to just pump instead. No, I guess that would have been more dangerous. Oh, I hate you so much! He's red. Well, now you gotta choose green. Or red. Wait. Oh, because you it's basics only? Red, I see, yeah. I see.
Jesus. <laughs> Play so the spell. Choices. Play the spell. So many things I want to do. Uh, I could death bomb that now. No, it's wait till wait. defense. All right. Jesus. <laughs> That's so annoying. All in the air, I guess. Alright, now we can actually slam the this pilgrim and get in because he can't even use this one, right? So we death bomb the. Or do I not have mana to do both death bomb and penumbra cavu? Alright. Alright, I think I know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Attack with everything right no no death bomb attack with everything okay here's what we do kill that we should have done this end of turn because now he can prevent the damage to his other one no he's talking about it now because we are short on time why do you keep telling me to pay uh, I guess it doesn't matter Wow. Didn't use it, which is good. Attack with everything. Play Horned Cabu. Yeah. I wish I would just do it. <laughs> Instead of quit asking me. We're in a tough spot regardless. We're in, like, knee dragon mode <laughs> at this point to try and win this race. I mean, we do at least have a blocker for Pincer Spider, but he's got more cards in his hand than we do, and... Did we have to mull this no. game, too? Well, Or did no, he just, no. did he just to, find more value than we did? Yeah. Alright. The Jungle Barrier. Jungle Barrier. God, that thing is... That's good to know. This card's insane. That's, like, block the world. Yeah, that's huge. Block the world plus draw a card. Not just block the world though, like discourage all attacks. Too, yeah, totally. Two, it, power. two power? That's like this yeah. card's insane. <laughs> he had that too. This guy's this deck guy's is deck so is good. good. Yeah, he got a really good deck. That should be almost lethal. If he attacks the pilgrim, he's one away, but there's no reason to do that. He's got uh, fire damage. Yeah, yeah. So. so dragon off the top, and then yeah, dragon off the top. <laughs> Or a flyer, or removal, or... How about a planes? Do planes do it? You need these? <laughs> <laughs> you have to use pulse, too. Just that yeah. insult injury. Yeah. I'm, like, tight on time, dying to... Whatever. Let's do it. Yeah. Play that. I love that our deck has somehow become... Kavu deck. <laughs> like... It yeah. did not play like this at all before. Yeah, and yet... <laughs> no value yeah, off of Howler both Kavu times we Howler, played it. Yeah. So ridiculous. Uh, you can just prevent it, whatever. I mean, I could have made him, but we lost anyway. That's alright. This was still a lot of fun. Yeah. I feel like I learned a lot from this experience. And we still got some packs out of it. Oh, absolutely. That's the most important part. Yeah. In fact, because we got second, we have just enough packs to do another one of these. Well, there you go. So, kind of cool. Uh, that was fun. Now. That was a lot of fun. I thought we did really well. Yeah, opening Derragaz is sweet. Now I can make a commander deck online. Good call. <laughs> I'm going to jump right on that. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, yeah, what did we learn from this? Derragaz is bomb. Uh, what else was really good for us? Horn Cheetah. We didn't, get a, ton of, we didn't get a ton of value out of this. Uh, Diversionary Tactics, I mean, it did all right for us. Horn Cheetah was way good. Um, Order Chaos was really good for us. Yeah. You know what's hilarious? I don't think we used order once. We used chaos both times You're that we right. played it. Yeah. And we even you even talked about that when we saw that card too. That you, I don't even remember you really mentioning order. It was just mostly just like chaos. So yeah. that's pretty cool. We didn't get a ton of opportunities to use, to use our battle mage. That would have actually been a really yeah. good draw for us. Um, this game. Uh, that was a tough <laughs> match though. That guy had a really good deck. Yeah, he he had a lot of really uh, really good removal. removal yeah. This this format seems like a ton of fun, mostly because there's so many different. Um, abilities on cards, my god. Yeah. The All those double ability or like double uh, clicking spells. Um, yeah, 
just like all the battle mages, all the disciples, mm -hmm. all the apprentices. It's just cool. Like, um, I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, Alright, well, somebody wants to borrow some Glacial Fortresses, so I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you had fun. We had a blast. Yeah, it was great. Um, I don't know. Jake, what do you think? Maybe we'll do another one of these pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. That was awesome. We should definitely do it again. Alright, cool. See you guys later. See ya.